Hello YouTube, this is Debo with Debo's Film Reviews, and I'm going to review next Friday. And no, uh, I did not name my channel after that, Debo. Just let y'all know that, know right now. Of course, y'all know that, you know, the, the second movie always is going to st star as Ice Cube, Mike Epps, the late Justin Pierce, the late John Weatherspoon, and of course Tiny Lister as as Debo, and Sticky Fingers as his cellmate Tyrone. Excellent plot of the for a second one to know where Debo gets out of jail, and. It, and his dad sends him to live with his rich, rich uncle for a while. It kind of sounds like sounds like Fresh Prince if Ice if it starred Ice Cube instead of Will Smith. Am I right, people? And of course you got of course you got to get have the side side plots and all. And a funny one of Clifton Powell as the as the always hilarious Pinky. Man. As I, I'd say, second best Clifford Power role since since voicing Big Smoke in San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the game, of course. And a bitch, it's got a lot, a lot surprising by how how San Andreas always had, tied in with with a Friday trilogy. You know how DJ Pooh was responsible for both the movies. And the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas games. I count Grand Theft Auto Five as a, that one, but a little bit off topic. But so far, has moments. You know, like when Craig moves to Rancho Cucamonga, meets, hangs out with Day Day, and he's telling him all about how he won the lottery and. And how's mom? And how the mom? How's mom died from a heart attack from getting the check? And of course, and of course, there's of course Elroy and his and his girl and his then girlfriend, and oh, and all the kinky weird stuff they got they got on. Oof. And, but overall, and an old funny side plot of. You know, Day Day's ex claiming that the pregnant, claiming that, claiming that the baby's his and all, <laughs> and I'm just like, and Day Day was all like, like, she already had the bump when I first met her. I thought she was just out of beer gut for a moment. <laughs> and of course, all the hijinks proof. You know, where they spark it of Craig, Day Day, and, and Roach just lighting up joints and all. I mean, just especially when they're at the pinky shop and, and that. Eh, which was one of the most hilarious record store scenes of, you know, besides the later seasons of that 70s show and all. And, you know, of, of any stoner comedy. And of course, those characters and all. And of course, you get the can't Michael Blackson's cameo. And I'm going to quote by saying, hmm, "20, and we all got her great 2020. We well, can't get jiggy of that." Definitely can't get jiggy with 2020. <laughs> all right, people. And then you got little side characters like. Mrs. Ho Kim, who is now the actress playing that, is now on the reboot of Magnum P.I. And, and the Jokers, you know, and Craig starts wooing their sister, and, and, and they all look like the, like the Latino version of Beverly Hillbillies, where they're, where they live in, Where they living? Where they living? 
living living in Rancho Cucamonda and all. <laughs> and he got a little joker. He always wore his hat like this. And that dog, and that funny dog does always, uh, even for a dog, had a, always had a massive hump and frog on him. <laughs> you know, old, old plot of, of Craig and Day Day trying to get the rock, rock, get the money from them to, to save it, save their uncle's place, save his, save Craig's uncle's place from from the from the from the, from, the, from them revenueers. Yeah, I use revenueers, or I say the IRS for the non hillbilly folks watching here. Non redneck folks, I meant. And. And I already mentioned Pinky and all of, all of his hilarious hijinks. And a little, just, little scene where he just pops up in the limo and Bowie's fame just pops up. And, and then you get. While well, Craig takes on the joke, Day Day take on the, takes on the Jokers. So this is their sister, their girl. And of course, you know, the whole thing where their old Craig, old Day Day and Roach try to go, go try to pull the borrow some sugar bit and it, you know, they ain't playing, them jokers don't play. And it just had them tied in the chair and they both going, friends, how many of us have one? Man, overall, I'm gonna have to give give this one a three out of five, cause actually two out of five, cause yeah, back back to the funny part of old encounters of Baby D. You know, the sister of Day Day's ex, and I mean, about ferocious, old hijinks from that scene from him. From there and I should keep all old his ex keyed to Beamer and then after getting fired from from Pinkies that they had a roach landed door and the and the and the windshield came down. I mean, and but overall. I'm gonna give this one a give this one at least a two out of five because personally my least favorite of the trilogy. Just, I mean, my Gibbs, you you were a great great day day and all, but just the whole when Chris Tucker bailed out and kind of messed up a whole storyline. I mean, it was kind of the best part of Friday. One of the best parts of Friday one. And of course, he got got the cameo of Stanley <laughs> roll in the in the gas station, pulling the whole nobody go to the bathroom for another forty five forty five minutes. <laughs> Which you always say, old bathroom bits and Greg's dad has always been the the, the running joke of or one of the biggest running jokes of the trilogy. Back to uh, overall, two out of five. Just didn't leave much there. Had some moments, but just felt too much of a rehash of the first one, minus the side characters and all. And an excellent cameo by of Michael Michael Rappaport of in the Ice Cube's lines of "We to cook a monica manga cracker killers." Yep, and uh, some I've been commented about me wanting to do. Folks, want to do this view? Here you go. Enjoy.